Hi everyone, I hope you have been well. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to make these cute teddy bear DIY cards that you can include in gifts. Um, I've linked the reference picture in the description. It's a little blurry, apologies, but hope it gives you some clarity as to what I'll be referencing. I've created three other ones as well, but I've only filmed the first teddy bear as a tutorial. I'll also be posting the rest as YouTube shorts and Instagram reels, which you can check out in the coming days. Firstly, to make the card, I used my 300 GSM watercolor paper, so try to get paper that is thick and can hold paint well. My cards individually are 14 by 10.5 centimeters, so I measured out my A4 paper to 28 by 21 centimeters and then just halved both sides to create four pieces of paper. Of course, feel free to skip this drawing tutorial if you just want to see how I paint the teddy bear. Now for sketching, for the head, I drew mine to be 3cm in height and about 3.5cm in width if you are wondering. I would describe the head to have this oval shape and since the picture has a slight cheek chubs, I'm going to make the bottom half a little wider. I then proceeded to draw semicircles for ears, eyes towards the bottom half of the face and an upside down triangle with a smile. For the body, notice that it's an oval shape but this time it's more enlarged towards the bottom. I'm going to add a straight line down in the middle for the stitching. Now for this section, draw the two ovals first for the feet, angle them to the side so it sits in a more natural relaxed position. I made my ovals fairly close to the body as I wanted this teddy bear to have shorter legs but you can of course vary this to your liking. Now let's connect the feet to the body using two lines. Notice how the top line does not touch the oval unlike the bottom one. Then I connected the two lines using a rounded curve. For the arms, since the teddy bear is holding an object, the arms will slant more upwards instead of at a straight line. Firstly, draw two lines pointing outwards, then from the second line start forming the shape of a circle for the hands like so. We're then going to repeat the same steps for its other arm. For the strings, make sure you leave a gap where the bear is holding it. And then for the hearts, draw them so that they are all pointing into different directions. They should be more angled the closer they are to the teddy bear's hands. For the background, I'm going with a more light peachy pink to suit the occasion by mixing deep red, medium yellow and then titanium white as shown here. If in doubt, add more white since light gouache colours dry a bit darker on paper and the teddy bears will stand out more on lighter backgrounds as well. For the teddy bear, we will be using three brown colours. The first brown colour is the base and you will need to mix colours ochre, medium yellow and just a tad bit of white. The outline colour, which is our second colour, will be using ochre just from the jelly cup so don't make this base colour too light since this will need to be able to blend in with the outline colour seamlessly. It's very important to let this fully dry, so I'm now moving on to the hearts. For this colour, let's mix deep red with Ponceau. We will come back to adding more outlines to these hearts at the end, but for now let's fill in the base colour. Now we will be moving on to outlining the teddy bear with the second brown colour using ochre straight from the jelly cup. So use a small round tip brush and commence in a dabbing motion to create the fluffy look.
just a tip for the inside of the ears just add ochre to the top part of the inside and leave the bottom half to create a small shadow Finally, introducing our third brown colour. This is lighter than the outline colour but still darker than our base colour and this will be used as our transition colour to blend the two together. The closer I am towards the edge of a section I will use ochre and the closer I am towards the centre I switch the third brown colour. As you can see I'm also making sections where two body parts are connected darker to add more depth to the image. If you're struggling to blend the colours, you can clean your brushes in water, remove excess water and then use the moisture in the brush to smooth out the edges. This works really well since gouache paint moves when reactivated with water. I then repeat this for all the remaining body parts, remembering to blend and taking notes of areas where two body parts meet. Let's then use black and taking your time, create two small beady eyes and an upside down triangle and its mouth. I'm then adding in gently some darker brown to outline where the bear's mouth is. If you're worried about getting this part right, always go gentle and light first so then you can gradually build more and more colour. I'm then just adding smaller ovals on its feet by mixing medium yellow and titanium white and then ochre brown again for its toes. I'm then using titanium white to add some shine to the beady eyes and nose. Lastly, we're going to create a maroon colour using deep red and a tiny bit of black to outline the hearts. I use this red to lightly add some blush to the bear's face as well. And that's the tutorial! Thank you so much for watching this video and if you're still here, I hope this was useful. Hopefully this has inspired you to create something similar. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.